Ooh, we're back at the Devil's Reef. Here we go, we are back. There's my desk. <laughs> I already looked at this. What am I looking Never at again? again, they say. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've un unlocked anything. Oh, okay, I shouldn't have picked that up. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions yep. always return. Yep, same, same. I haven't locked anything. Unlocked anything new yet. Maybe I've got to hand this in first. Alrighty. We've got to go and see Albert. Alrighty. That was Rob Morton. He's, um, he's, um, he's, uh, I don't know. I don't know where he is. I don't know. Oh. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? Captain Sanders abandoned them. Sailed away from the dive point. The fear, the... The visions. They got to him. Sanders. I'll see that he doesn't have long to regret his cowardice. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? Ah, uh, yeah, they knew. They knew. The Innsmouthers. They knew about the temple. They waited there, hiding until the professor took what the Innsmouthers call... The seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? It seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers! Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet, and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. Um, no, 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 don't need to ask. I was just connected. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters, so shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert, one of uh, great importance, shall we say, one at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. Yeah, why not? That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. It's going to give me loads of bullets that I can't carry now. Have a good day. Am I supposed to have used all that ammunition? Yep, can't carry any more. Good grief, hand grenade. Alrighty. Oh, 
already. So we're about just helping himself to your stuff. Herbert Glover. That's what happened to Herbert Glover. Search for clues begins. I keep a 40 year old newspaper article. Francis Throckmorton, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor. Mm, in his letters. Mr. Throckmorton, it is with deepest regret that I must inform you that the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again. The demand for it has increased and now it is triple good grief. That which we agreed earlier. And though this is the second time that I've raised the price, but extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me as I cannot replenish my collection. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What was that all about? Is there another one of those? I'm missing a head. Secret door. The door yeah. won't budge. Well, I bet it will. Any more statues like that? These heads are not on straight. Oh, no way. I think we know what happened to him, don't we? Some melee weapon. I wonder how you get them. Oh, there's like a shop or something. Oh my god. Whoa, look out. Still alive, still alive. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. What's that? Picture of a mirror. Okay. Ooh. I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Huh. That's a lot of warning shots. Okay, down we go. There's 44 cartridges. Oh, look, there's the head. Yeah, if there's 44 cartridges, does that mean there's a 44 somewhere in here?
Ah, oh, more 44 cartridges in the first aid kit. I really thought there was going to be something a bit special in there. Since you have to go to a lot of trouble to do it. Uh-huh. Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so is this one? Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. Yeah, so while he's taking the mirror, this guy walks through here and gets discovered. Who are you? What in Kay's name are you doing in my house? And then they do a runner, and there's a fight, and they kill him. Squint, run! Oh, oh Kay, I have killed him. Two men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news is I've found Glover. And the bad? The bad news is he's dead. Murdered. Indeed. Did you discover who killed him? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Find me Glover's killer. I need the name of the man who crossed me, Mr. Reed, if I'm to make an example. Ah. Ah. That little symbol is reading, isn't it? So, evidence of more such crimes throughout the city. The police station. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Um... Look, all I want is access to your records during my investigations. Otherwise, I'll keep out of your way. Oh, that's all you want, is it? Was making us look like idiots in front of Mr. Throgmorton not enough for you? Look, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intent. Well, that's what you did. A newcomer must know his place. Let me be frank. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T, or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal in here, newcomer. Hey, easy, Officer Lyons. I don't want any trouble. Well, good. That's a start. You can use the archive, but only because you have Mr. Throgmorton as your patron. Keep that in mind, Reed. Blimey, friendly bunch, eh? Hey! Then 10.30 p.m. on April the 15th at the Fish Market, Eastern Shells, corner of Orchard Avenue and Holy Fire... Mm, something. I apprehended a suspicious looking Innsmouther as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had in his possession a peculiar golden amulet which trembled fish eye. Okay, this is the one. The suspect resisted arrest. When I tried to cuff him, he cried for help, screaming for his brothers from Eod. Several other armed in's mouth as a fear appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release it in his mouth and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. Okay, Eastern Shells, corner of Orchard Avenue and Holy Fire Inn. Anybody want to talk? Uh, this used to be an okay place to live. Yeah, you know, yeah. Hey, seen what anything? Selling, mister. I don't see any goods. Uh, I offer what everyone oh, interesting needs, camera angle. needs most. Safety and comfort. You a newcomer? 
Where are you staying? The Devil's Reef Hotel. <laughs> oh, old Victor always thinks so small. A man of your talents could earn his board a hundred ways. Maybe you want some more spending money? No, oh, no, not interested. Sounds dodgy. Sorry, mister. I'm not taking on extra work right now. Oh, stupid, really. I should probably do these. XP, you know. Leveling up and all that good stuff. Dodgy looking geezer. Good grief, what have they got up there? Oh, something going on around there. Let's go and get stuck in. Poking their noses in where it's not wanted. And it is only fair to be afraid. Titanic forces are at work. Infinitely greater than ourselves. Unknowable. Incomprehensible. There will be sacrifice. There will be loss. There will be darkness. But these are the hallmarks of a pivotal moment in time. And each of us has a part to play. Alrighty, yeah, that, that seems a little grim. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? I guess this city wouldn't be complete without a doomsday prophet. Let me assure you, I am anything but. I am called Ebernote Blackwood, and this is the place I have chosen to share my message. Please, come to one of my full sermons. Ah, uh, Charles Reed. Good to meet you. Mm-hmm. You're a Blackwood? Blackwood. You're a member of the Grand Family. I am, indeed. The last of that line. Inheritor of an empty mansion and a severed history. Hmm. I'll see you around. Well, that was pointless. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Ah, I'm not in the mood, newcomer. If you want to talk, see Anna. She's in charge here. Excuse me, are you Anna? Fish? Fresh fish? Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy. We have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> what is the EOD? I mean, what what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh, how do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. Okay, yeah, alright, what does EOD mean? What does EOD stand for? Everyone's obvious duty. When we began, it also had, is to help each other, but... We dropped that part. It was a little bit wordy. Okay. I don't care if she calls me Charlie. It's been great chatting with you, but... I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, for goodness oh, sake. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Four. Yeah. <laughs> You need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> How can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Detective work. Huh. Shooting well, things. I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. And ever since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> 
The sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Do tell. Yes, what job? Oh, what job? Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well, last night someone tried to break into our fish storage room. <gasps> No. Luckily, the guard scared him off. Yeah, good, good. I fear they'll be back to finish the job. Oh, I wonder if that's the guy I'm after. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. Absolutely. And you want me to find whoever this thief is? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. I like it. Exactly. Okay. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password. I serve, I the, serve sea, the sea, and he'll let you into the storeroom. Awarding. See you later. I serve the sea. You got business here. I serve the sea, bro. I serve the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. I <sighs> see be praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Let me in. Yeah, it's what happened here. Can you tell me what happened? And don't skimp on the details. <sighs> Not much to tell, sadly. It was a man that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs. Tried to steal the fishies. But I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. Oh, okay. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe, if not for his uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. And what did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Okay. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. Okay, why all secrecy? What's the deal with the the password and such? Orders from the higher ups. I don't get to ask why. Okay then. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Indeed, indeed. What's the eye symbol? Ready, because you never know what's coming. Do I need to reload? Yes, I do. Do I need to worry about <coughs> those? Okay, we're in. We're in. Let's have a look around. See what we got. Oh, fish all clues. Fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm fresh fish. What have we got here? Can't get any more of those. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Jeez, everywhere you go. Oh, no way! The hell is going to get murdered in? Dude, it's dangerous in there. a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Not like that. Wow. No. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Things dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. Oh. So 
So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. Fish poisoned. Whoop, grab it. Poisoned fish. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Oh, he's a model maker. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. That's from the orphanage, dear Mr. Grimes. We can't thank you enough for what you do for the children. In these dark times, your toys go down like tall glass of water. We will pray for your good health every day. We also kindly remind you that we still await your visit. All our staff and of course the children are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please don't hesitate and come as soon as you are able with eternal gratitude to administration of Oakmont Street, Jerome's Orphanage. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, truck. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. See ya. May the sea protect you. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. And we shall go and visit Anna.